today's goal of this lecture today i will see new topic but very important topic today i will see partial differential equation and he in partial differential equation today i will see actually how we will solve heat equation short in shortly actually heat equation wave equation this type of pd very important for any competitive exam today actually i will see shortcut trick for heat equation okay so at first i i will highly recommend you please see today's video with pay attention because this shortcut trick actually very important to solve any question in 15 second okay heat equation is in partial differential equation in one dimension is look like del u del t equal to c del t u del x2 with subject to the boundary condition u0 t equal to u a t equal to 0 and this is true for all t here the initial condition u x0 equal to fx either fx equal to sin nx or fx equal to cos nx this is actually the heat equation now i will see how we will solve in shortly this is today's goal of this lecture first first solution when u x0 equal to sin nx and this fx equal to sin nx then the equation of main equation of heat equation would be u x t equal to e to the power minus n square c t sin nx i hope my all viewers have understood when f x equal to sin nx then u x t would be e to the power minus n square c t sin nx let's see one example first question del u del t equal to del to u del x2 with the condition 0 less than x less than pi and t greater than 0 with the initial condition u0 t equal to u pi t equal to 0 with u x0 equal to sin x and we have to find the value at u pi by 2 1 i will solve this equation in 15 second at first see the solution would be such type since fx equal to sin nx u x t equal to e to the power minus n square c t sin n x here by this equation notice c equal to 1 and given u x 0 equal to sin x that means n equal to also 1 so u x t equal to e to the power minus n square t we had n equal to 1 minus t sin nx here also nx sin x and we have to find the value at pi by 2 1 so this value would be e to the power minus 1 sin pi by 2 and we all of us know sin pi by 2 is 1 this value would be e to the power minus 1 that means 1 over e to the power e i hope my all viewers have understood if you know this shortcut trick then you can solve any question easily in 15 second next similar type of question second equation del u del t equal to del t u del x t with the condition u x 0 equal to sin pi x then this has a solution with the form u x y equal to phi t sin pi x then option 1 phi is always negative option 2 phi is always positive option 3 phi is increasing function and option 4 phi is decreasing function and this question has had come csr net 2013 december exam this is very easy type question just short trick here del u del t Plus del 2u del x2 equal to zero given. 
that means that implies del u del t equal to minus del t u del x2 that means c equal to 1 and given u x0 equal to sin pi x that means n equal to pi so the equation is u x t equal to e to the power minus n square n square means here pi square c means minus c means here sorry sorry minus 1 minus 1 e to the power minus n square c t sin pi x that means the value would be e to the power pi square t sin pi x this is the value of u x t i hope my all viewers have understood clearly and notice the solution u x y equal to phi t sin pi x that means here phi t is nothing but phi t is e to the power phi t equal to actually e to the power pi square t and obviously e to the power pi square t always positive so phi is always positive and second option third option indicate phi is increasing function for this phi prime t equal to pi square e to the power pi square t this value is strictly greater than zero so obviously phi is increasing function that means option two and option three is a right option i hope my all viewers have understood if you know this equation then you can solve any heat equation let u x t satisfy the initial boundary problem del u del t equal to del to u del x del t 2 x belongs to 0 1 and u x 0 equal to sin pi x similar to before here c equal to just 1 and n equal to pi with the condition u0 t equal to u1 t equal to 0 t greater than 0 then we have to find u x comma 1 over pi square obviously u x t equal to e to the power minus n c square t here n equal to pi square c equal to 1 e to the power pi square t sin n x n equal to pi sin pi x and we have to find the value x 1 over pi square u x comma 1 over pi square this value would be e to the power minus pi square t means 1 over pi square sin pi x so this value would be e to the power minus 1 sin pi x so notice the option option 2 is the right option i hope my all viewers have understood the question easily Okay, this question had come CSR NET 2016 exam. I hope my all viewers have understood. If you know the shortcut trick, then you can easily solve any heat equation in 15 seconds. So, see today's video with pay attention. Okay. See you soon, stay safe and stay positive always and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you so much.